Hey guys, Jordan here. I'm gonna show you guys a trick. You can never mess up. Like I just messed up that dribble. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a trick that you can never mess up and you can always do it. So this this time I've got a deck of waterproof cards by Okay. Is that how you say it? No, holy. Wait. Hoily. Okay, I don't know how to say it, but I'm gonna go with holy. Hoily, I mean, so here we go, guys. This is a trick that you can never mess up, and I'm actually going to stare toward the bottom of the bed so that you guys can see me do this. So, guys, here we go. So, what we have here is we have, an, so we have a regular deck of cards here, okay? So, now, whoa, 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 bro, 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 bro. Okay. So, now we have a regular deck of cards, okay? So, I'm going to look through the deck, and I'm going to see if I can find the jack, um, the jack of spades. Because the jack of spades, actually, you know what? You have the Jack of Spades. I like the Jack of Spades. And plus, he's a more convincing bounty hunter. Don't ask. Okay. So, guys, we're going to have the Jack of Spades. He's going to be right about here, okay? So, now, guys, what I have here is I have the rest of the deck. I'm going to make two piles of 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right here. There's a pile of 15, 14. 15, what I mean. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, guys, okay. if I had if I had someone here, I could get them to count it. And um, I'm pretty, I'm 100% sure pretty much that this is the Jack of Spades. This is an entire deck of 15. Let me make sure about this one, because I know that one is. Yeah, it's 15, okay. So, guys, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this deck. So I'm gonna cut my deck anywhere in particular, and you can cut your deck anywhere you'd like. Usually I would be doing this to a spectator, but since it's only just me, I really can't do that to a spectator. So guys, actually, I'm gonna move this down probably. Okay, guys. So please just put that right there. Okay, thank you. So now, with the remaining pack of cards, I want you just to pick one. Pick a card. So let's say like they they want this one right here. So, you'll be like, okay, so, they'll give you this card right here, okay? Don't know what it is, don't really care what it is at all, so, we're gonna, so then you're gonna ask them to put it on top of one of your piles. So, they'll say, okay, I'll put it on top of this pile right here. So, then, okay, then I'm gonna put the jack right there. I'm gonna take this pile, put it on top of this pile, put this one on top of jack, and we're gonna see here, let's see if jack can find your card. So, we're gonna start dealing down cards. We're going to test to see if this worked. Fourteen, fifteen, we have sixteen cards, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put that one there. So, here we go. So, this is the pile that Jack is in, and this pile has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. Okay, so. <laughs> So, in this pack, somewhere is your card, or at least I'm hoping it's your card. So, we've got this pack right here, okay? So, we're going to see, one, I can find your card. And guys, here we go. So, now we've got this many cards out, and let's see if Jack can find your card. Next, he'll be into the final four cards that could be your card. So... And now we're down to the final four. And right now, Jack should be finding, just about now, your card. So, and let's see if Jack has found your card. Jack has found your card. Hopefully, the tip of diamonds. This is a very, very, very easy trick to do. Um, what you're going to need to be doing is you're going to need any jack of your choice. I love the jack of spades, so just the jack of spades. And what you're going to do is you're going to do exactly what I did. Make two piles of 15. And from the remaining cards, get them to pick a card. Ask them to put whatever card. Let's say, like, this was the two packs of 15 right here. I don't even know how many cards this is. And these are the two stacks of 15. They pick this card right here. And 
organize it so you'd be like, well, okay, so put it on top of one of your packs. So if they put it on this pile, then you're going to put Jack right here on the pile directly straight from it. But if they put their card, the Seven of Diamonds, on this pile, then you're going to take Jack and put him face up on this pile. So that way you can always choose the diagonal pack to put it on top of without having to put either of those cards on top of each other. So, really cool trick. Really, really fun effect. So, as long as you follow those steps right there that I have just taught you, you, this trick will never fail. Ever. And I'm serious about that. So guys, thank you guys for watching, and this has been Jordan Moore, and I'm here, and yeah, bye.